Hi guys, this is Ajita. Welcome to this video where I'll be using the Forever in Love uh, stamp set which is a part of the alt new June release uh, and this is a beautiful floral uh, stamp set and as you know I have a big weakness to paint these uh, flowers. I decided to start with this. So there are two beautiful uh, designs and clusters basically in this uh, stamp set and this is the beautiful inspiration page. You can really see a few projects there and uh, get started. So for this uh, first card, I have decided to use uh, my No Line Coloring and Daniel Smith watercolors. For that, I'm using the Arches Cold Press water paper with my Mini Misty, placing the huge stamp on uh, the Misty and uh, then I'll be stamping it on the rough side of the Arches Cold Press paper. So um, I do that twice so that I have a good impression as the paper is a little textured but it is one of the best papers for water coloring and today I'll be doing the no line coloring. I recently got my uh, Daniel Smith uh, watercolor collection extended and I have few new shades in my uh, collection and that's what I'm going to use today. So this is a bright uh, red which I'm going to use to color the first rose and then uh, just to add some more interest the second rose will be pink. So I get a lot of requests that uh, I should do few of the petals at the real time and this is what I'm going to do. So you can see that I'm using a water brush by Altenew and picking up the paint, a very intense paint and it's quite pigmented and I'm putting it at the base of the petal and uh, then just spreading it with more water. So the barrel of the water brush is filled with water and I'm using that to spread the color. So uh, I've also use, I'll also use a tissue paper to take away the paint from uh, the brush so that there is a tonal difference between uh, the base and the tip of the petal. So I'll do three of these uh, uh, petals at real time because water coloring is all about layering and you need to give enough time for the first few layers to dry and then add more. So here I would try to explain what I exactly do. So I just take away almost all the paint and there's just water in my brush towards the tip and that's how I spread it and uh, this is the third petal this was a bit confusing I was not sure whether I'm going to add uh, the shadows uh, at the base or uh, uh, at the top because the way it is uh, sketched is a little confusing so I just went ahead and added the uh, most pigmented petal uh, most pigmented color at the base of the petal and use the brush and the water in it to spread it so this is how everything is going to be done and uh, since this bit of uh, painting took around 30 to 40 minutes it's quite difficult to keep everything at real speed and uh, that is why I have to fast forward the entire video and here we go so now you can see that it's much faster but the process is going to be exactly same and uh, i'll just add on some music here so that you can enjoy what is happening and uh, the bigger petals are easier to color but as you go uh, inside the rose structure you have to really think of the way you want to add your highlights and uh, shadows so since this is no line it is even a little more trickier but i'm sure you'll be able to judge it yourself and do it so i'll stop speaking here you enjoy the coloring process it was the same way i did the leaves and the other flower and once this is done i'll get back and we'll finish the uh, finish the card and we'll stamp a beautiful sentiment towards uh, the end of this coloring process
so uh, this is almost done and i hope you enjoyed the way i colored uh, this beautiful rose cluster and uh, it looks really really pretty in uh, reality so i must uh, tell you that uh, this took me around 30 to 40 minutes 30 35 minutes to paint but uh, it, it is a lot of fun now to finish the card i'm using a sentiment from the same stamp set and i'm going to use my versafine black onyx ink to stamp it because it is super crisp and I love this ink for sentiments. I just matted my uh, painted uh, piece on some black and then on a card base. So I hope you enjoyed this card and if you did, uh, do not forget to leave some comments and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.